All right, hey, what's up guys? Skylar here. Today I'm going to be doing a RAM upgrade in the late 2006 iMac. I recently did receive this guy a while ago, of course, like I said, with keyboard, mouse, and stuff. It has been recently updated to OS 10.8.5 or Mountain Lion through ML Post Factor. But as of recently, it's two gigs of RAM doesn't run the best on Mountain Lion, so therefore I will be upgrading this up to four gigabytes of DDR2 RAM. As the Maxis will take, I think it'll only use three gigabytes of RAM hover, Two two gigabyte sticks will run in dual channel, therefore it'll be uh, much uh, smoother with uh, some certain tasks. So yeah, but anyway, um, I'm gonna go on ahead and get the iMac all unplugged and stuff, and I'll get my phone on the tripod. Yes, I do have one. One viewer mentioned that in to that to me when I did the AirPods video. But anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna go on ahead and I'm gonna get the iMac all unhooked and stuff, set up to be uh, upgraded, and I will be back. All right, guys, I am back. As you can see here, I have the iMac all done and stuff. Now, to mention a little bit, um, let me just double check this is in frame. Underneath here, these two screws that are right here, this is where the RAM door is. They're both Phillips head screws, and they're fairly medium sized screws, I'd say. So, therefore, any uh, flathead, or flathead, duh, um, Phillips head screwdriver that you have will work fine. So, basically, all you gotta do is just loosen both of these. And these screws are captive, therefore, um, they will not go out of this little piece that'll come off, which I think is metal, I'm not sure. Anyway, so basically, and then I will go on ahead and take out the little bracket. Oh, does that screw out? Of course, there's always, it's always the left screw. It's just a little bit more difficult. And as you guys can see, there's this. And as I said, the screws are captive. So there's that. So now, now how this works actually is kind of cool with the little RAM thing. All you got to do is just pull out these tabs and stuff with two hands, of course. Just pull them straight out. And this will indeed um, take out the old RAM. So now it might be a little tricky to kind of grab it out of there. It always gets kind of stuck at the end if you're not careful. So there's that. There we go. Now sometimes you have to flick it a little harder to get the uh, oh, top ones being a little pain. Okay, yeah, you'll just kind of have to fiddle with it to really get it out. If you want a better uh, detailed instructions on how to do this, I fix it. We'll have stuff for this. Oh wow, this isn't even the. These two RAM sticks are actually totally different. Samsung and OWC are. Is that crucial? I can't remember what that is. Micron, I think. Anyway, here we go. So we have computer bay RAM. Hopefully this RAM will work fine. Um, I will certainly test. Okay, come on. We have these two little plastic tabs up here on the top. And there we go. We have one 2 gigabyte module and another um, 2 gigabyte module. There we go. Here's this. I might um, put these two in there. I don't know, but regardless, that's done with for now. Um, now, if you look down in the slot, or actually here on the uh, bottom of the stand, it will mention how to upgrade the RAM. You'll see the slot is facing, this little uh, notch in the RAM is facing the left of the computer. Make sure that matches up like that. You'll also see these two little, like, kind of lines as to where the RAM actually does go. And make sure to put in the second module first before you actually push them in, because you will end up using the hooks for that. So, then what you do is you take your little hooks here, and you push it in like that and then you go on ahead and just bolt on your little uh, plate here with the screwdriver force and then you will be good I'll just go ahead and get one of them on make sure you double check it will tighten on so alright there you go that is how he, that is how you upgrade the RAM in the iMac I'll go on ahead and boot this back up and see it has 4 gigs of RAM and I will be back alright guys I'm back got the keyboard and mouse all hooked up I will go on ahead and do that. Actually, I might adjust you guys up on the tripod just a tiny bit. Well, there you go. So it is booting. If you don't get a boot screen and you get a white light and it beeps, then the RAM is not seated properly. So what you're going to have to do is disassemble it back down. Just pop out the RAM and pop it back in again. So that'll work. Oops. Excuse me, August. Sorry, my uh, dog's in my room. So yeah. Anyway. Um, let's go on ahead and... <clears throat> excuse me. Let's see. All right. This is booting off of the original hard drive, so sorry about the time. It might take a little while to boot. Let's see. There we go. And as I did say, this indeed has a OS 10 Mountain Lion on it. And it's got the OS, or not OS 10, Mac OS Sierra stock background. I decided to kind of throw that on there. Kind of looks nice. And there we go. We have a mouse cursor. Let's see. Come on. Come on. There we go. Alright, so as we can see, it has indeed booted up perfectly fine. I'll have to go to about this Mac. And as you guys can see here, um, I will go on and zoom in a little bit. Does that help at all? Um, actually, 
sorry about the little shakiness. Actually, you know what? Screw it. We're, we're taking you guys out of the tripod. Actually, ow. I think it was pinches me. Um, <laughs> All right, so hold on, let me turn off the light right quick, actually. All right, I'm back. As guys can see, four gigabytes of RAM. However, if I am to go into activity monitor, it will only read three of it that I am aware of. Yep, okay, so the board is limited to three. However, it'll take four if you have that laying around. Honestly, I'd recommend four over just like a two gigabyte and one gigabyte, mainly because it will uh, indeed run faster in dual channel. So, yeah. Of that but anyway so yeah there you go that is the upgrading of the ram in an original 2006 imac this is the core 2 duo model the core duo models will only go up to two gigabytes also to mention quickly um okay well the lighting is actually pretty bad let me turn on my light lamp up here i have finally gotten a brand new sata to usb board which as you guys if you guys don't know what that is basically that will allow you to take any uh, laptop hard drive or in this case laptop some will take desktop Basically, all I gotta do is just plug this into a laptop hard drive and plug this end via USB into a computer, and you can have it act as an external hard drive. So, yeah, that's that. Anyway, um, that's how you upgrade the RAM in a 2006 iMac. If my camera's out of focus, sorry. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I will have something out soon, hopefully, with some white MacBooks. I have some watched on eBay that are about like $70, um, both that are 2009 models. So, yeah, hopefully, I'll have those soon. Anyway. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye.